in the mirror and see your face, the Japanese clipper. Elevator girls in blue and white uniforms sing out the floors on the way to heaven. Black males in yellow thighs, striped with live garters, hanging loose in the Tokyo night of surgical masks and sour soybean eggs. Make big deals at drunken tables. Pickled grasshoppers have a lovely weekend. A dog licks my memory away. The golden belt encircles the town, and the mere thought of an uneaten peach makes me come in my pants. Even the king of the Ginza must sometimes sleep. Tokyo Birdhouse for Kazuko Shiraishi. It all started with Kazuko saying, I want to invite you to my birdhouse. Then I discovered that stamp with her picture on it, the pink red beer cockatoo with seven pointed white crest, sharp little beak, red rimmed eyes and white wings sitting in a tree in Okusi Ambino. I knew that I was the brown owl from Cape Verde, doomed me. the bird tracks in the sand, Palamides and Balmiki. Then Atora's colloquy of the birds started by confounding me. I too wanted to fly into the center of the sun. Then there was the magical kingfisher of my childhood, the crow who flew with burning wick in its beak in order to describe Dharma, that Pondicherry bird of South India falling all night. I got a fever! I got a fever! A woodpecker which lets spirits escape from trees.
Tokyo Birdhouse for Kazuko Shiraishi. It all started with Kazuko saying, I want to invite you to my birdhouse. Then I discovered that stamp with her picture on it, the pink lead beater cockatoo with seven pointed white crests, sharp little beak, red rimmed eyes, and white wings sitting in the tree with no pussy and vino. I knew that I was the brown owl from Cape Verde, doomed to be up all, longing for life like the weird owl I once was fed every day in Kathmandu. Then I couldn't get the birds out of my head. I remembered how writing evolved from the flight of cranes, the calligraphical formations, the bird tracks, the sands, alamitas, and alamitas. Then that Taurus colloquy of the birds started by confounding.
And surely we will die without memory, coming to cold in the shadow of space. And if it isn't too late for the star to love you, spraying the sky with whispers attuned to galaxies hungry for you. Right. 